Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll talk about my favorite jewelry from Van Cleef and Narfels. I will talk about some of the items from Alhambra collection and the items from Free Wall that I bought previously. I'll talk about pros and cons, scratches, durability. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button so you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Please also consider checking out my playlists about luxury shopping, jewelry. I also have weekly vlogs, travel vlogs. I have also posted a few videos about Chanel bags, style and fashion, Dior vlogs, and I also have beauty products section on my channel. And please also consider subscribing to me on Instagram. So let's begin. I actually wanted to start with my absolutely favorite item, which is my free wall ring that I bought earlier this year. And I'm so happy that I got it. I will link down the shopping vlog and unboxing video about this item in the description box down below in case you want to check it out. So this is actually in between the finger ring and there is one thing about VCA rings is that the size is not exactly the same. I tried in between the finger rings in different designs and all the sizes were so different. So my suggestion would be to go to store, try it in person and see how you feel because it's not exactly the same. Actually, it took me quite a few months before I was able to get it. I think it took me about three months. I kept on coming back to the store, trying it on, thinking about it because I wanted to make sure it feels comfortable, it doesn't move around. Initially, I wanted to wear it on my ring finger, but it was impossible to find the size. So I ended up getting a size bigger so I can wear it on my middle finger. Actually, I have been receiving quite a few questions about this ring via my Instagram account. Some of you have been asking whether this ring is very delicate because it does look pretty delicate. Well, I have to say it's a very solid ring. It's not easy to break it at all. And I wear this one all the time. I wear it everywhere to work. I wear it when I run my errands or during the weekend when I meet up with my friends. It just became my signature ring. I always wear it and I really like it a lot. And I think in the future, if I want to combine the metals, I can just buy a smaller ring from VCA in the white gold and blend everything in. I think that's becoming my next obsession, mixing different metals, white gold and yellow gold. Well, let's talk pros and cons. I think this ring is very beautiful. It's one of the kind. It's so sparkly and you can see it a mile away. It's very feminine and it's also very durable. However, it's pretty easy to scratch it, so you have to be mindful. I have to say I'm a lot more careful with my purses, my bags, than with my jewelry. Somehow I tend to scratch my items much faster, but it's easy to remove the scratches with Jewel's rouge cloth. And I did speak about it in my previous video about Cartier items, which I will also link down below in the description box for you to check it out. That material helps to remove scratches from the yellow gold and I absolutely love it. And if you don't want to polish the ring yourself, you can always bring it to VCA and they can remove the scratches. By the way, I have to say the scratches are not that bad. It's just, it's possible to scratch it. You have to be a bit more careful, but it's not too bad. And next up, we have my favorite earrings, my free wall earrings in the large size that I wear all the time, especially during weekends. They are so gorgeous. I have featured these earrings in a few of my videos and I will link down in the description box the shopping and unboxing vlog for you guys. 
I think these earrings work with almost any outfit that I have in my wardrobe. They are so beautiful and I always get so many compliments whenever I wear them. Although not many people know that these are from VCA, which is actually a great thing. I prefer it. I would say that Alhambra earrings are a lot more recognized. By the way, this is how they look on me, the large size. They are not very heavy, but I cannot wear them for nine hours at work. Well, sometimes I do, but it's not exactly very comfortable to wear it for such a long time. That's why I bought the smaller size, which I will show to you in a minute. I would say that the weight is the only downside of this. They are beautiful, they work with anything, they don't get many scratches, they feel very comfortable, there is no issues with a clasp, it's very easy to put it on, take it off. These are perfect, but I think after wearing this for five or six hours, I start noticing the weight and that's when I need to take them off. I absolutely love the way these earrings look with my free wall ring. Such a beautiful set. That's why I bought them actually. Moving on to the smaller size that I bought earlier this year. This were my birthday gift. <laughs> And when I was buying them, I couldn't decide between white gold or yellow gold. I really love those in white gold as well. I will link down a video when I was trying both of this in the description box below so you guys can have a look. I decided to buy another pair in the yellow gold again because I wanted to make a set with my ring which I wear all the time so they would look nice. And when I put them together, they look just like my ring because the ring has flowers in both sizes, in the large and small, which is perfect. I have to say that the smaller earrings are quite light. I don't feel them at all. I think I can wear them for 24 hours and I don't really feel the weight at all. That's why I highly recommend them for everyday wear. There is also a smaller size than the small, I think it's called mini and those are studs i saw them before i think they're way too small for me i'm not a big fan of very tiny earrings i prefer them a bit bigger i feel like bigger earrings suit me better and i just prefer the look of them but yeah it depends on your personal preference i was also given little rubber things that i can use with my earrings to make sure that they don't fall forward but i don't have this issue at all and even with the bigger earrings they just sit nicely so yeah i love this a lot and i can't wait to add a pair in the white gold to my collection i think i will use those very often as well Moving on to my Alhambra earrings in the magic size, which I absolutely love. I bought this last year and I worn them so often before I bought the free wall. Now I wear free wall more often, but these are still stunning earrings. I wear them from time to time. I will show this on me and I will compare them with free wall as well so you can see the sizes. I have to say that the magic size is a little bit heavy. Actually, I think they are pretty much as heavy as the large free wall earrings. I think they feel the same. But there is one thing about Mother of Pearl. You have to be careful when using perfume or any sort of chemicals because this might shrink mother of pearl. You cannot swim in them in the swimming pool because of chlorine. I think you cannot even take a shower with them. Even though I swam with them once before, nothing happened, but you have to be careful. And if the mother of pearl shrinks, you have to pay a few hundred dollars to replace it, which is not ideal. I feel like these are a bit more high maintenance versus the solid gold, but I think I still like them and I'm glad I purchased them. I just have to try to wear them more often. And this is how they look on me. I like them a lot actually. 
I like the shape. I like the way they are reflecting the light. Even though it's not easy for them to pop out with my hair color, but these are stunning. I have noticed that the large size has different shades. It has green, pink, white shades, but the smaller size, the vintage size, usually has one shade. I don't know why. So let me compare this with my free wall earrings. You can see the size is almost the same, but I think I prefer the free wall. Which design do you guys prefer? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious. And the last but not the least is my first item from VCA, my Alhambra vintage size bracelet that I bought last year. I think I bought it back in May or maybe April. I'm not really sure. I need to look at the receipt. And I was also given the travel pouch. I usually keep it in a travel pouch. I don't always keep it in the box because I use it so often and it's just easier to pull it out from the travel pouch. I will link down the shopping and unboxing video for you guys in the description box down below. That was my first Van Cleef and our palettes video and I hope that you like it. By the way, this bracelet was too big. All the original sizes are way too big and I had to remove three centimeters. I still have all the links with me in case I want to put them back, but I don't think I'll have to do it. By the way, what I love about this bracelet is that you can get another one and actually make a necklace out of it. And I showed it in my previous videos, which I will also add below so you can have a look. I actually prefer that length opposed to the standard sizes of necklaces that Van Cleef sells. Actually, if you buy the bracelet, I don't think you necessarily have to reduce the length. You can just twist it a bit. Just let me show you how I do it. I just twist the links and I make it shorter. So I think that's what I will do with the next bracelet so I don't have to remove the links. I wear this bracelet sometimes with my watch, not very often because I think this bracelet can scratch my watch a bit, but I like the look of it. To avoid scratches, I have to turn it a little bit more so it doesn't move around. It stays in one place and then it's totally fine. I usually wear this bracelet with my Cartier Love. I like this combination so much and I think you can see it in many of my videos. This is it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If yes, please consider giving it thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.